to MSH channel, I'm Teacher Pieces. So before we start, please hit the like button and click subscribe. And also please turn on the notification bell so you'll get updated with our latest videos. And for today, we'll be discussing a unit conversion using dimensional analysis. Okay, so what are units? Physical quantities are measured in dimensions that are categorized as base units and derived units. Base units are defined units based on a standard such as length, mass, and time. On the other hand, we have the derived units. These are units derived from base units or other derived units such as a volume, speed, and density. Physical quantities are expressed in multiple units. So in this video, we'll be talking about the process of converting between units using conversion factors. So what is a conversion factor? It is a ratio of two quantities with equivalent values that is used to change one set of unit to another. Let's have an example. How many hours are there in 4.5 days? Since one day is equivalent to 24 hours, then the possible conversion factors are 1 day over 24 hours or 24 hours over 1 day. So using the dimensional analysis, let's convert 4.5 days into hours. So what is the conversion factor should we use? Okay, so we'll be choosing the conversion factor that will allow us to cancel the given unit and then it will leave us out with our desired unit. So in this case, since we want to cancel out the days, we'll be using this conversion factor. So it will be proceeding with our calculation. It will give us an answer of 108 hours. Now, let's move on to metric system. So this is a system of measurements expressed in powers of 10, which are represented by prefixes. So we have the base unit, which are the liters, meters, and grams. And then we have the deca, hecto, kilo, mega, giga, tera. These are the units that are bigger than the base unit. And then on the other hand, we have the deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, pico. These are smaller units than the base unit. So how should we use them? So let's have an example. So we have a mega. Okay? It means that one megameter is equivalent to one million meters or one times 10 raised to six of its base unit. On the other hand, let's have the centi. It means that one centiliter is equivalent to 0.01 of its base unit or one times 10 raised to negative two liter. So we can use this table as a guide for the metric conversion using dimensional analysis. Now let's take a look at the steps for conversion. In step one, identify the given quantity and the unknown quantity. Step two, determine the conversion factor to be used. And step three, calculate and simplify the answer. Now let's have an example of converting to or from a base unit. Convert 472,000 meters to hectometers. Okay, step one, we are asked to convert meters, which is our given quantity, into hectometers, which is our unknown quantity. Now step two, if we will try to look back on our table, we can see that one hectometer is equivalent to 100 meters. In that case, we can have this possible conversion factors. Okay, now in setting up the dimensional analysis, let's choose a conversion factor wherein the given unit is across from each other. In that case, we'll be using this conversion factor. Now we will proceed with our calculation. Let's cancel the meters and the final answer will give us 4,720 hectometers. Okay, now let's move on to the converting from non-base to another. Okay, now we are asked to convert 3,500 centigrams into decagrams. But on the table, we don't have a conversion factor for centigrams to decagrams. Now our plan is to convert the centigrams into its base unit. And then after that one, let's convert the grams into decagrams. Okay, now if we want to cancel out the centigrams, let's use this conversion factor. And then after that one, if we want to cancel out the grams and then arrive to our desired unit, we will use this conversion factor. In that case, we will proceed with our calculation. It will give us an answer of 3.5 decagrams. Now, let's proceed to the conversion of derived units. Convert 95.0 kilometers per hour to meters per second. Now, we are asked to convert a double units. 
First, let's take a look at the conversion factor of kilometers to meters. So we have 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. Now, if we want to convert the hours to seconds, let's have first the conversion of hours to minutes. And then after that one, let's convert the minutes into seconds. Now, in setting up the dimensional analysis, we have 95.0 kilometers over 1 hour. If we want to cancel out the kilometers, we'll be using this conversion factor. Now, if we will cancel the kilometers, it will give us out with meters per hour. Now, let's convert the hours into minutes. And then after that one, let's convert the minutes into seconds using this conversion factor. Now, if we will proceed with our calculation, it will give us an answer of 26.388 meters per second. But our given is in three significant figures. Remember, rules of significant figures, we should round this one off to three significant figures. So the final answer will be 26.4 meter per second. I mean, 26.4 meters per second. Okay, to know more about the rules for significant figures, you may check out our previous video. Now, let's move on to the conversion of derived units with exponents. Now, we are asked to convert 7.874 grams per cubic centimeter into megagrams per cubic meter. Now, let's take a look first at the conversion of grams to megagrams. Okay, so we have 1 megagram is equivalent to 1 times 10 raised to 6 grams. Okay, and then after that one, let's take a look at the conversion of centimeters to meters. So, we have 1 centimeter is equivalent to 0.01 meter. Okay, now... Let's take a look at the dimensional analysis. So we have 7.874 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, to cancel out the grams, let's use this conversion factor. Okay, and then if we will cancel it out, we will have a megagrams per a cubic centimeter. Now for us to cancel out the cubic centimeter, we'll be using this conversion factor. Okay, remember since this unit has an exponent, so the conversion factor itself must be raised into its similar exponent. Because in that case, we will put an exponent of 3 here. So now we can cancel out the cubic centimeter. Okay, if we will proceed with our calculation, it will give us an answer of 7.874 megagrams per cubic meter. Now, let's move on to the conversion of units to or from the English system. So let's convert 280 pounds to grams by using this conversion factor. Okay, so we have a conversion factor of 1 kilogram is equivalent to 2.2046 pounds. Okay, so after that one, we can convert the kilograms, okay, to grams by using the metric table. Okay, so we have 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. Okay, now let's convert first the pounds into kilograms by using this conversion factor. Now let's cancel out the pounds and now... Let's cancel out the kilograms by using this conversion factor. Okay, if we will proceed with our calculation, it will give us an answer of 127,007.17 grams. Okay, remember, let's apply the rules for significant figures. So the final answer should be in two significant figures as well. Okay, so the final answer will be 130,000 grams. Okay, so here are some of the other conversion factors of the English system. So you may use it as your reference. Now, did you understand unit conversion using dimensional analysis? Well, if you did, try to answer this exercise on unit conversion. Okay, you may post a video while answering and then you may resume the video for checking. Have fun answering! Again, and don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe. And also, please turn on the notification bell so you'll get updated with our latest videos. Again, we MSA, we offer books and tutorial programs to help you with your academics. For more information, you may visit us on our website, the MSAinstitute.com, or you may visit us on our Facebook page, which is the MSA Academic Advancement Institute. Now, let's start checking the exercise. Okay, let's have a number one. We have a conversion of non-base unit to another non-base unit. So, in that case, let's convert first the 1.61 kilometers into meters. And then after that one, let's convert the meters into centimeters using this conversion factor. Okay, it will give us an answer of 161,000 centimeters. Okay, same rules are applied for number two. Let's convert the nanograms into grams first. And then after that one, let's convert the grams into decigrams by using this conversion factor okay in that case it will give us an answer of 4.401 decigrams okay let's have a number three we have 1.225 kilograms per kiloliter and then we are asked to convert it into a grams per milliliter okay let's convert the kilograms into grams by using this conversion factor we have one kilogram is equivalent to 1000 grams now let's cancel out the grams 
I mean the kilograms, and then it will leave us out with the grams per kiloliter. Now let's cancel out the kiloliters by converting it into liters first, and then after that one, let's convert the liters into milliliters. Okay, now it will give us an answer of 0 0.001225 grams per milliliter. Okay, let's have a number 4. We have 9.807 meters per second squared. Okay, first let's convert the meters into centimeters by using this conversion factor. Okay, now let's cancel out the meters. Then next, we cancel out the second squared by using this conversion factor. But then since it has a, an exponent, let's square as well uh, the conversion factor. Okay, now we can cancel out uh, the second squared. Okay, now it will give us an answer of 353.052 centimeters per minute squared. But then our given quantity is in four significant figures, so the final answer will be in four significant figures as well. So the final answer will be 353.1 centimeters per minute squared. Okay, so let's have a number five. We have 186,000 mile per hour. Let's convert it into kilometers per second. Okay, we have a conversion factor of one mile is equivalent to 1.6 kilometers. Okay, so let's cancel out the miles. And then after that one, let's cancel out the hours by converting it first into minutes. And then after that one, let's convert the minutes into seconds by using this conversion factor. Now, it will give us an answer of 82.667. Since it has a three significant figure, so the final answer should be in three significant figures as well. So the final answer will be 82.7 kilometers per second. So that's all for today. So for additional exercises and resources, just click the link below at the description. Okay, so thank you for listening and MSA will see you on our next video. Bye!